the president making clear that this is more than just holding something captive to a philosophy, that this is a humanitarian crisis. The president going on to say it's a crisis of the heart and a crisis of the soul. We must do something about it. This is a cycle of human suffering that I am determined to end. The Democrats offering in response a way to end it by separately dealing with it and not attaching the government funding that has prompted Uncle Sam to essentially be, well, a quarter of it at least, shut down for the last 18 days. Now, we are only a few days away from breaking the record that was scored in 1995 when Newt Gingrich and President Clinton we're going at it. Now, where the middle ground will be found of this is anyone's guess, but it is fairly safe to say, listening to all the key players here, that there is no middle ground. The Democrats will not budge on this idea of funding for a wall. They say we do not need. Furthermore, the president's overture uh, to make steel barriers rather than a concrete wall that he thought Democrats uh, would like more apparently fell on deaf ears when it came to Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. So where do we stand right now amid a promise for the president to meet with leadership to discuss the these very issues. Did anything move tonight? Did any progress get made tonight? To California Republican Congressman Tom McClintock, we will have the Democratic lawmaker on in just a moment, always fair and balanced. But let me ask you, Congressman, on this, did anything give you a sense, no matter your feelings about the president, what he wants to do with the wall, that there is any middle ground here? I think the president's appealing to the American people. I think he realizes he's been there to negotiate. The Democrats have refused to negotiate with him. You cannot come to a uh, conclusion without both sides talking to each other, and that's what the Democrats have refused to do. The president is now turning to the American people in a test of will. And it's not a test of will between the president and the congressional leaders or between Republicans and Democrats. It's a test of will of the American nation whether we will summon the will to uh, secure our borders, protect our people, and, and defend our nation's sovereignty. I mean, if, if our borders are not going to be secure, if our immigration laws are not going to be enforced, then those borders mean absolutely nothing. And we cease to be a country and simply are a vast open territory between Canada and Mexico, both of which have borders and both of which do enforce their immigration laws. Well, Congressman, can I ask you, when he alluded to the Mexican trade deal recently uh, agreed to between ourselves and the Canadians as well, uh, that there might be monies there to help deal with this, do you know what he was talking about? Uh, well, I think he's referring to the uh, uh, additional tax revenues that will come in because of the commercial activity of a better trade deal with those countries. And we're allowed uh, to but, use but, those tax revenues for this? We're, is that legal? Is that constitutional? Well, that, that ultimately will require an appropriation by the Congress, which Understood. is what he is seeking. And uh, what this whole shutdown is about, uh, you know, whether or not we are going to uh, 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 take the minimal actions that are necessary to secure our borders and defend our country. All right, Congressman, thank you very much. Tom McClintock of the beautiful state of California.